You're listening to Body Light Tales, the podcast for mindful people on the go. Hello, my name is Miao Guang, and today's Body Light Tales is the Overflowing Cup. A long time ago, there was a young man named Aaron. Known to all for his great intelligence, no one dared to challenge him, as he seemed to know everything about anything. Over time, his ego began to grow, and he became extremely proud. One day, Aaron heard that a Chan master was in town, staying at the temple. The Chan master was known for his profound wisdom, so Aaron was delighted. He thought, "Finally, someone perhaps close to my level of intelligence is here. This is the perfect chance to prove my intelligence once and for all to everyone." He was sure the Chan master would be no match for his intelligence, and was eager to prove it. Aaron went to the temple to meet the Chan Master, and although he was welcomed by monks and devotees, he ignored them all, not even pausing to look at them. Instead, he marched straight into the meditation hall and demanded to see the Chan Master. Upon seeing the Chan Master, without even greeting him, he said arrogantly. I have a question for you. The Chan Master smiled at Aaron and politely answered, "It is my honor and pleasure to meet you. Please sit down and have some tea first." The Chan Master remained calm and at ease despite Aaron's rude behavior. He carefully placed a cup on the table and began to pour the tea. The cup was soon almost full, yet the Chan Master continued to pour the tea slowly and steadily. Chan Master, don't you see? The cup is already full. Aaron grunted impatiently. The Chan Master continued to pour the tea, and the cup was now overflowing with tea and spilling everywhere, onto the table, onto the floor, and even over Aaron's clothes. Chan Master, stop! The cup is overflowing. There is tea everywhere. My clothes are now wet. Aaron grunted in frustration. The Chan Master stopped pouring and placed the tea pot gently on the table. He looked at Aaron with a deep gaze and said, "Young man, do you not realize that you are like this cup of tea?" Your mind is filled with your opinions, arrogance, and prejudice. Like this cup of tea, you are so full of yourself that nothing else can be added. You need to first empty your mind before you can truly learn and welcome new knowledge. Learning can only be gained with a humble mind. Wisdom can only be cultivated with a grateful heart. Please come back to me when you have emptied your mind. For the first time, Aaron felt ashamed. He understood that the Chan Master was teaching him that although he might be intelligent, he was not wise. Let us ask ourselves if our minds are like an overflowing teacup. With humility and gratitude, everyone we meet. And every situation we encounter can become an opportunity to learn and grow. As Venerable Master says, arrogance is the chief hindrance to improvement. Arrogance is the chief enemy of practice and cultivation. If one is arrogant, it is difficult to move even one step. If one is humble. The road is open everywhere one goes. So learn to be tolerant and humble, for tolerance reveals courage, ability, dedication, and responsibility. 
If we do not empty the cup in our minds to receive knowledge and teachings with humility, there will be no space for wisdom. If our minds are filled with arrogance, deceit, self-importance, and all other delusions, we blind ourselves to the knowledge and wisdom of others and the world around us. No matter how wonderful the teachings are, or how wise the teachers may be, we will learn nothing from them. With the humility of an empty cup in our minds, we open ourselves to all the wonders and beauty of this world, and the people within it. In time, we will learn that not only knowledge matters. True wisdom also dawns when we can apply our knowledge to benefit ourselves and others. This is Miao Guang. Thank you for listening to Bodhi Light Tales. Subscribe to us and have stories delivered to you every week. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom.